going to uh, make teleportation possible. So please bring to the stage with some clapping, uh, Mr. Matt Coulter. Speaking of football, <laughs> I was watching the other night in uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, and Michael Vick got hurt, the quarterback, and they put in a, a guy named Kafka. Apparently, he's a, a rookie from Northwestern, so we saw Kafka metamorphize into an NFL quarterback. <laughs> Which also brings up the question, if Vick's hurt most of the year and Kafka leads the Eagles to the Super Bowl, Will it mean anything? <laughs> I've really come here tonight to defend the Tri-Cities. The comedians have come through, uh, put down the Tri-Cities quite a bit. I think the last uh, few weeks ago the comedian said, Tri-Cities, that's like three towns trying to be a city. <laughs> Often they put down Finland. And I think, uh, you know, I've had enough of it. Finley's been picked on enough. I'm sure the entire town of Finley could pick up and move overnight, and nobody noticed. <laughs> that is, if they had a pickup that ran. <laughs> or gas money. <laughs> but, but enough picking on Finley. I think the comedians should start picking on Benton City. I mean, come on. City? I think the bet knights are a little full of themselves. I'm just saying that uh, I think uh, Ben City should be the new Finley or Finleyopolis. But the Tri Cities is really getting kind of cosmopolitan. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was driving to work and I went on the Clearwater and drove by a Russian market. So we have a Russian market in the Tri-Cities now. And I uh, went inside to see what they had. And they didn't really have much yet. They had, uh, they had some wormy potatoes, some organic beets and turnips, six pirated copies of XL97 software, <laughs> and four used cars out in the parking lot that they're trying to sell. <laughs> but it's a start. They're entrepreneurial. They've, they've captured the American dream. They're hoping to grow. As a matter of fact, next week they're planning on taking over the Ukrainian market next door. <laughs> Speaking of small towns. My wife's from North Idaho and, and a small, small area and all of her friends would sit around the bar at night. And the guys would start a, if a guy had it, thing. So it's kind of a North Idaho thing. If a guy had a, a Jeep with a winch, he could pull out that stump. You know, or if a guy had a jigsaw, he could make an end table like that. Or if a guy had a chainsaw, he wouldn't get any lip from that guy in the bar anymore. <laughs> or if a guy had a, a half, younger half-sister, he could get laid all the time. <laughs> You know, North Idaho, if the guy had it. Uh, was anybody else raptured up to heaven in May besides me? <laughs> Nobody else was raptured? No. You know, I didn't really see a lot of people up there I recognized. Uh, didn't see Osama bin Laden. He wasn't up there. I did see the 72 virgins, though. <laughs> 73 if you count Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> it, it turns out that he had isn't really sexual relations after all. <laughs> but uh, they sent me back down. Um, they canceled the uh, apocalypse. Um, turns out there was a lot of legal problems. Uh, Armageddon, devil, the devil said that Armageddon was supposed to be two out of three, and God disagreed. And the devil was saying, Satan was saying one thing, and God was saying another. I really didn't know who to believe. 
but we really don't have to worry about the world ending anytime soon uh, because they've got a lot of legal problems up there and no lawyers to sort them out. <laughs> I, I, we have a five-year-old around our house now, and I, I cracked her up the other day, and the joke was, uh, exactly, it was Juju Bean. That was the whole joke. That was the punchline, the setup, the whole thing, Juju Bean. And she just cracked up. So it occurred to me that what I really need is a more immature audience <laughs> to do my stand-up in front of. So I'm trying to find an amateur audience. I went to do a stand-up at the Kennewick grade schools, and that wasn't mature enough. So I went to Benton City. <laughs> so I arranged to do stand-up in the Benton City grade school, and I learned a couple things. It went pretty well. But one thing, it's best not to go below the second grade. They're, they're really not a well-developed sense of humor. Um, and they heckle you a lot low attention span, you get heckled. And so I was like, I got heckled by kindergartners. I was like a deer in the headlights. I didn't know what to say. And, and then it finally occurred to me, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna spank your butt. <laughs> that seemed to work. That seemed to handle the hecklers. Yeah, the other thing I learned is they don't really give you a lot of time for your set, about five or six minutes, which is apparently about the time it takes uh, from when the teacher pushes a panic alarm until the police show up. <laughs> so my, my next, my next stand-up will be at, uh, at the hearing, at the court hearing. And you know, if a guy had a typewriter and knew how to spell, he could make his own release papers. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thank you.